Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today it's time for the one each one cleaning method. I really need to deep clean my bathroom sink area. Usually I do some quick cleaning between the deep cleanings, but lately I didn't and this is the result. The mirror is a disaster and the sink is full of soap scum and the lime scale. You can see how bad it is. I will use the most powerful descaler that is just half vinegar and half dish soap mixed together. Spray it thoroughly everywhere, on the sink, faucet, tiles and let it sit 10 minutes. Then I will scrub with my blue scrub daddy that I only use for the bathroom and clean everything very well. The one each one method means you will clean one thing, one area in each room or area of your home. The most urgent thing will be cleaned in each room. This way your house will be clean again without killing yourself with work. For hard to reach spots I'm using this power scrubber I got from Amazon. I use this soft absorbent sponge. For the faucet, I like to use sieve to make it shine properly. I spray and let it sit. In the meantime, I will proceed with the mirror cleaning. I remove all the products I have on the shelf, spray a glass cleaner on the mirror, then wipe everything, even the socket and lighting. Now I'm wiping all those products and putting them back. The next step is to scrub the stainless steel parts and then wipe or dry everything for a perfect finish.
Now I will show you how to clean and disinfect your drain too, because the drain accumulates hair, dirt, dust, bacteria, germs, mold, all that dangerous stuff. All you need is vinegar and baking soda. Pour some baking soda into the drain, add some vinegar to bubble up and keep adding vinegar from time to time until you see it's not bubbling up anymore. In the meantime, I will wipe the cabinet with glass cleaner and buff it dry. In the end, run the water a little bit and wipe the sink. I put back all the soaps and the sink is sparkling clean. A quick wipe of the washer and that side cabinet is a must. This is the final result. Everything is so clean and shiny, spotless. You can see there are no more watermarks on the tiles, no more gunk and grime. The faucet is shiny, the sink is shiny. The next area of my house, the bedroom. Here one much needed thing to clean is the floor. So I do it with my smart cordless vacuum and washer Tineco Floor 1S3. It is a cordless hard floor vacuum that works on all hard floor surfaces. It vacuums and mops at the same time. It's been one year since I have had it and I love it. It has a good suction and up to 35 minutes runtime. It's easy to maneuver, great for all types of pet hair and messes. It has a two tank system that you can clean with fresh water and it is Wi-Fi and app connected. Dust pet hair, debris, spills, dried stains, liquid, nothing gets away from this amazing cleaner. It is a game changer and it dries so fast. The next area of my house, the kitchen. During summer we usually use the gazebo's kitchen. But to make coffee or to use the oven, we still make some mess into the main kitchen. This is how the drying rack has got and it's mainly lime scale. I really really need to clean it. For this task I use the same lime scale remover I mix myself, vinegar with dish soap. I spray thoroughly, let it sit a good amount of time then scrub and let it dry. One each one means one load of laundry, one thing to clean outside, one thing of gardening, etc. Of course, everyone's home is different, so you will mold this method according to your needs. Maybe you don't have a garden, maybe you live in an apartment and you don't have a yard, whatever the case may be.
it turned out like new. The next area outside. On the front porch I have this outdoor furniture that gets so dusty. Plus, lately my cats like to sleep here, so they leave behind cat hair. First I remove all the pet hair, then wash these covers and hang them to dry. This cleaning method can be implemented when your home is a complete disaster. Everything needs to be cleaned, disinfected, organized. When lately you had so many things going on and you left behind all the housework and now you don't even know where to start so you feel very, very overwhelmed. To wash them I use Pervol liquid detergent for blacks and this Lily's softener. In the meantime I wipe the furniture with some wood cleaner because it keeps the dust away for a while. Then the glass part I clean it with glass cleaner obviously. cleaning method will help you calm down, feel less overwhelmed and actually get your home in order without overworking yourself. So do just one thing in each room, the thing that is the most important to you. Maybe you have to change the sheets into your kid's room. Maybe you have to organize the shoes into the mud room. Maybe you have to wipe the chairs into the dining room. Whatever is urgent for you. Here you can see I already did a lot of laundry in the morning. 
This is what the one each one method requires. A load of laundry too. I did a color delicate load. The next area, the living room. This coffee table got unorganized and dusty, so I have to take care of it. On my channel I make content about cleaning, organizing, decor, hacks, the day-to-day -day homemaking. I hope you will stick around. I hope to provide you with that motivation and inspiration to get things done. I am glad to have you here and I hope you are enjoying this content. In my opinion, this method helps staying motivated when things feel mundane because you can think of it almost like a game. I want to remind you how amazing you are. We as homemakers don't hear it enough or we struggle to believe it. So in case no one told you today, you are amazing. Your home is an extension of your energy field. This is why cleaning your home, organizing and decluttering can have profound impact on your mind, body and spirit. Homemaking can be mundane and repetitive, but don't forget it's a blessing to yourself and the people around you. You do a lot.
Now everything is organized and dust free. The next area, the garden. If you have a garden, you have to do some kind of work into your garden every day or almost every day. If not, it will become a disaster. It can be watering, pulling out weed, fertilizing, potting, repotting, etc. Today I choose to clean the roses because it's the most urgent thing. Removing wilted blooms, known as deadheading, from your roses is an easy way to give your garden a tidy appearance. It also encourages your plants to produce new flowers. How to deadhead roses depends on their type, but in general, the easiest way is to just snip off the spent rose at the end of its short stem above any foliage. Removing the old blooms stops the plant from putting energy into developing seeds and instead encourages it to produce more flowers. Not all roses need deadheading and some need a little more care than just snipping off the old blooms. Other than knowing which type of rose you're working with, all you need for the job is a good pair of gardening shears. So maximize the floral show by snipping off faded blooms you'll be rewarded with a tidier looking plant that will soon fill your garden with new flowers. Once you're done watching this video, be sure to check out my cleaning motivation playlist. There you can find more videos like this. I've been through heartaches, I've been to heaven. I've done my best and my worst, learned my lessons. No matter how hard my life would treat me, I'd always get right back up now. The last area, the gazebo. Here the one thing that needs urgent care is the trash can. It got absolutely disgusting. First I rinse it with hot water, then spray this Ace Mousse bathroom cleaner that contains bleach to disinfect too. While I let it sit, I go outside to take the covers from the line and put them back. This is how my front porch is clean now and cozy. I believe it, believe it, yeah. 
Returning to the last chore, washing thoroughly the trash can and letting it dry. Writing a to-do list is one of the oldest productivity tasks you can do and will really help when you are feeling anxious and overwhelmed. When you cross something off, there is nothing quite like that little self-satisfied boost. It gives you a sense of order productiveness and a feeling of calm as you can write off one more thing you no longer need to remember to do. What is on your list today? The way you look and how you pause when you talk, I think you said enough. You I hope this video made you feel less alone and gave you some motivation or inspiration to tackle your to-do list. See you next time. Bye!